This is the first step in a process of using up your 12 by 12 papers. And I've made two little tag cards and I saw this on the internet. Um, I will link up later with who I learned it from. But today I'm just going to show you how to cut it out and in a further um, video I will show you how to glue it together. I started with a 12 by 12 paper. Um, this is two-sided, but it's only polka dot, so I'm not sure how it's going to be. I tend to have um, tags around. If you don't have tags around, you can easily make some tags. But I took the zip strip off, and I'm now going to take this 12 by 12 paper and make it into a 10 by 10 paper. So I have a 2 by 12 inch strip. Turn it sideways, go to 10, and now I have a 2 by 10 inch strip. This is what I will decorate those with. That is the only cutting other than cutting the paper off for your tags. Now we want to find the center of this. So I'm just going to fold it down. Find the center, and you need to decide what color is going to be on the outside of your card. I want the rainbow to be on the outside of the card, so when I fold it, it's actually going to be on the inside of the card. So I'm just repressing those, and if you want, it might make it a little bit easier if you do use a bone folder. Okay, now my first fold is just taking this and going to the corner. Like that. And this is actually going to be a little hidden place, like if you were making a journal book or a card, where you can add more journaling or more messages. My next fold is with this one. And I want it one inch folded down. So I'm just going to mark the edge a little bit where I want to fold it. There we go. That should be one inch, this should be one inch, and fold it down. Now these are hearts and I see that they're sideways. I might have been able to prevent that. Now this end is going to be glued inside and this is going to make a pocket. And eventually that will be for your first tag. The next piece we want another inch folded. So go at the point of that. You can either mark or fold. There we go. So it doesn't have to be exact, it's just a fold. Okay, and that folds inside there. And this is where. Okay, we got a pocket here, we have a pocket here. So this would be where your second size tag would go. And you can make them small enough if you want. If you're going to mail it, you might want um, small enough. And then this goes here. Now, I wasn't going to glue it, but it looks like I still have a minute or two, so I'm going to glue it. All I'm going to do is put a line of glue, a little squiggle, Fold that back in. That's my first piece. Then I'm going to glue this tab down. That's my second piece. This part is not going to be glued, but right here you want to make an inch and all the way around. So I'm starting at the top, going to the fold, and I'm leaving one nice pocket, so I'm not going to go any more than the edge. And the last little bit, I probably should have done that first, is just inside the fold there for your third pocket. And this one I know is going to squish out. I put too much glue. <laughs> I need a baby wipe here. There we go. So we have the base of the card all set to go. And you may decorate your tags any way you want. 
but what's sort of fun is it's almost the exact size of prefab tags. So you can make it a rainbow, even though it's going with a rainbow, or you can use the other side and have hearts, your choice. Next one won't be as wide. So, sort of fun with this one. The stripes are gonna go all different directions. You could even add an adhesive strip here. I think I'll just move directly to this one. So I'm gonna make the first one a rainbow and the second one, I'm gonna make hearts. And it's easier for me to decorate a tag by just gluing it on and then cutting off the extra. And these could have photos on them. They could have journaling on them. They could have stamped images, whatever your delight. Now, I didn't get out a hole punch so I'm just going to poke a hole. Cut off the edges. You can use wax linen or twine, anything you want. This one I used wax linen. This one I used twine. I might use a pretty color since this is so rainbowy. And let's see, we need one more. Making a mess here. I think I'm still going to leave that rainbow. I'm just going to put glue right on the tag since the tag's about the same size. Now you can be much more exacting like this than this if you like. Whatever your pleasure. So, first one, second one, third one, and let's put parts on this one. I'm actually going to put it at a diagonal. Then we could put a stamp or something on the side. You can decorate these any manner you like. I just wanted to show you the base of the card or journal accent. This is such a nice way to lose up, use up your pieces of extra paper. So I'll just follow the outline of the tag and cut off the extras. There we go. Now I will post another video finishing this up later, but I think it's a great little pocket design. Let's make a hole in this one too. Hole punch would be much easier than what I'm doing, but since it's already a hole, it's pretty easy to follow the outline of the hole. So there are my three tags and my little tag journaling block or birthday card or whatever you want to make. And I just used a regular, I made a tag for this one. Well, I made a tag for both with a punch. I'm not sure where the punch is right now. But I just used a basic paper clip. All right, have fun using up some of your 12 by 12.